What's going on guys, Mike O back. Today I'm sharing the results of a group break I was involved in for Gypsy Queen Baseball. Got a nice stack of Phillies base here to share with you real quick, just kind of showing off. Gypsy Queen by now I'm sure you've seen. Beautiful looking design this year. The cards are just awesome, they feel great. Uh, awesome product. So this group break I did was with JMVP. John's a really good guy and I've been fortunate enough to get to know him uh, over the course of the last year, met him and his son Ryder at the National last year. So John's done some really good group breaks. Uh, he calls them group breaks with friends, and we get into them and kind of get our PC teams. And it's it's a lot of fun hanging out and watching the break and getting some cool stuff. So we did this, and this came in a while ago, like a couple weeks ago, and I just am finally getting to it. But wanted to share what I did get. So I obviously had the Phillies in this break, but I also had the Brewers and the Royals as well. So here's kind of the results. And John was also kind enough to throw in some bonus stuff, so I'll share that. Got a couple J.P. Crawford fortune teller inserts. We've got this Ryan Braun uh, Gypsy Queen logo swap parallel. Got a th Jonathan VR. Red parallel. These are really tough. These are maybe one in a case, numbered ten of ten. So that's uh, that's a nice little hit there. Obviously not the greatest of players, but still a uh, good hit. Got an auto of Brandon Woodruff, so that's a nice one. The autos in this product are sensational. They just they really pop. So on to the Phillies. Got a blue, I should say indigo parallel of Nick Williams. Is numbered to 250. Got a JP Crawford auto. Another nice one for the collection. And then my big hit in the case was a Reese Hoskins auto. Unfortunately, it is a redemption card, so I'm going to go ahead and scratch it right there and redeem it as soon as I'm done with this video. And once it arrives, I'll show it in a mail date video. So. Definitely a nice hit there for sure. So John, again, just want to thank you for uh, doing that break. Obviously, it's a ton of work, setting it up, uh, getting it filled, getting the payments in, sorting it out, ordering the case, having the case come in, breaking it all, sorting it all, and then shipping it out to us. I appreciate it. And it was unnecessary for you to send all these extras, but I certainly, uh, certainly appreciate it. First off, he sent this Reese Hoskins. Um, this is from... Heritage. This was actually, I guess I got this during a Heritage break, but he finally, uh, he sent it out, so that was really nice. These are really awkwardly shaped, so they're pretty cool, but very hard to store. Here's the other stuff that he did send. He sent this really nice orange parallel of Jimmy Garoppolo. That's a nice one there. Garoppolo, obviously, uh, his stuff's hot in the hobby for sure, and we'll see how he ends up playing with the 49ers, but I'm sure he's one of those guys I'll always follow due to his time in New England. <laughs> we got this nice Randy Johnson. I don't know why they were sticking a little bit there, but this Randy Johnson is really sweet. This is from Topps Tribute. I don't know. I just, I've wanted to uh, pick up a few of these Randy Johnson Expos cards. They're just really, really cool, so that's a nice one that will go in the collection. Here's a Ronald Acuna, first Bowman card, 2017 Bowman. John, thank you for that. Acuna, um, just reaching the majors. This guy is definitely, uh, he's one of the super hype prospects, and it'll be interesting to see how much attention he'll get. I know he'll obviously get a good number, of, a good amount of attention, but Otani is still kind of blowing everyone out of the water, specifically hobby-wise. It's a nice Cole Hamels blue parallel. It's a nice one there. Here's a Pat Neshek card, which I believe I still need. John was asking me if I had one of these signed yet, and I honestly can't remember. I don't think I ended up ever getting one, but that would certainly look really cool signed, so that will happen at some point. Got a Nick Williams rated rookie, so there is a uh, cool one there. It's actually a pretty nice card, nicer than I anticipated, being that it's a Panini product, and you know there's no logos, but it's still pretty nice. Then John sent a few opening day cards, so a nice Nick Williams there, batting. And a J.P. Crawford, throwing. A Reese Hoskins opening day card, so that's nice. And then this is super sweet here, the Reese Hoskins opening day blue parallel. That is awesome. It looks really cool. My favorite parallel so far that's out this year from Base Tops is actually the, I don't even know what it's called. I think it's probably called like, 
it's like the American flag. It's the American colors, the uh, national colors. I'm not sure what the parallel is, but it's like red, white, and blue with stars. That's freaking incredible, those cards. So I'm going to be looking to pick up some of them. So, John, thank you so much. I appreciate you sending those extras. I appreciate you doing the break. Everyone check out JMVP's channel, link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below, let me know how you think I did. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.